everybody. We are leaving Boyle and heading for Hope Kiwi Lodge, which is a hut, but it's a big one. And it's like 28 k's, supposed to be eight hours. The weather is supposed to be cloudy, but not raining. Fingers crossed. And we've got a river crossing like within the first hour. Not just like a rock hopping stream, a river river, so we get wet, so that's fun. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's about 8 o'clock, so it's a bit late-ish leaving. Pack's full again. Though, shouldn't be that many days to Arthur's Pass and then Slack Pack and then a short day, but because I wasn't really sure how I was doing this section, it's kind of like I knew there was like about five days between here and Beerley, and then three days from Beerley to Methven via shuttle. Um, so I have like six days of food in here, but hopefully do it in five and then three days. But then um, maybe getting a lift around the first river with a friend, which is cool, but then I won't be going to Methven to resupply. So <laughs> I'm still trying to work that out whether, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> might have to get someone to go shopping for me so it's kind of not ideal but that's life I guess um yeah we'll see how that pans out but I should know more before when we get to Arthur's Pass in about four days so but it looks like it should be a really fun section lots of rivers though so pretty much all wet feet which I'm not super keen for definitely got some hot spots the other day after the 43k day in wet shoes so Ah, that will be fun. Anyway, it does look like it might clear today. Um, and onwards. Well, we just crossed the river. Not exactly in the place we were supposed to, but that was a good crossing spot. We got a bit lost following a trap line by accident. Not the trail, so now we're just trying to make our way back. Over here to this grassy area, I think, is where the trail joins up. And... Yeah, hopefully the feet dry out a bit, but it was cold, but not super cold. This is what happens when you get lost. You have to climb off cliff bases to get back to the trail. I came down over there, which I think was the better option. And aside from some slightly muddy feet have made it. Jeremy and Jemima are coming down here. We're now back on track. Oh, just so hard. This trail is so not marked well. It's real easy to see from up there just cut straight across but yeah it's been interesting well the track navigation has improved significantly we're still on our way to the Hope Kiwi Junction the road down there is the river bypass oh, we're getting there slowly today slowly well the trail has improved a lot since before lunch and now walking in forest and apart from tripping on roots and rocks every now and again, it's pretty good. So we're like three k's away from Hope Kiwi Lodge, which is the hut that we're staying at tonight. And yeah, it's taken us way longer than it should have, but we're getting there. Just really tired after town day yesterday. Because we're doing more Nero's and less zeros, it means we have a lot less time in town. And because it's a South Island, there's a lot less time with service, so it just means for like video editing and uploading. <laughs> um, I'm normally up a bit late at night. It wasn't too bad last night, 10 p.m. But I wasn't able to upload anything because the Wi-Fi was so bad and there was only 3G. So I'm hoping Arthur's Pass is a little bit better for your sake. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Town days, the bag is heavy, the body is tired. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> um, so hopefully early to bed tonight and it'll be a better day tomorrow. But, still got three k's to smash out today. Good morning everybody. Um, leaving Hope Kiwi and hopefully heading to Vinui number three today, which is not the longest day, but there's hot pools, so 
definitely this section taking a little bit easy. Everyone's just exhausted. Um, so, which is really good. And it's so far so good, beautiful weather. Um, yeah, so I'm just heading out a little bit earlier than the others so my calves can warm up because they've been cramping every morning pretty much since um, Bahia. <laughs> um, mostly. Oh, hello, Bumblebee. Uh, so I've been stretching them out, but just the weight of the pack, I think, is what's killing them. So. Anyway, I just off to a slow start and then the others will catch me up and then we can continue on the hopple hunting. Woohoo! Oh, anyway, got an hour and a half walk to the saddle, which I assume is somewhere in there. Doesn't look very high, so hopefully not too bad. <laughs> so we walk to this lake, which I think is potentially the best view we're gonna get. We're just walking around the edge of it in the forest. We shouldn't have too much further. Ah, oh, there we go. Too much further to go to the next hut. And then not much further than that is the hot springs or hot pools. And then, yeah, the other hut, which we may stay at, we may push on. We'll just see how we're feeling when we get there. It's so weird to be walking in the forest and they just pop out. There's the lake, farmer herding cows very noisily. Over there we've got the swing bridge which we're about to walk to and then I reckon I can see in there is probably the hut. So that's pretty cool for lunch and then yeah, got a fun hot pool afternoon hopefully. We are hot pool hunting. This waterfall is hot. So I think we just turn up left up here and go find the hopple and that will be good but the sandflies will probably ruin it. Woohoo! Found it! Now to brave the sandflies for our awesomely awesome hopple. Yay! Well I can see the hut, the roof of the hut and yeah it's been a pretty uneventful afternoon. We tried some alternative pathways that didn't work out. <laughs> Um, there's a section where you can walk down by the creek or up by the forest. We tried to go down by the creek but we went too early so we got a bit stuck. But yeah, overall pretty good. The sandflies are insane. I think that's going to be the tune of the South Island. <laughs> I've taken antihistamines. I'm going to rub antihistamine which is an antihistamine cream on my legs before I go to sleep. But yay, we're there. Good morning, everybody. We are leaving Hiranui Hut number three and hopefully walking to Kiwi Hut today. Um, should be 10 hours dock time. So we'll see, hopefully be there around 4.35ish. Uh, a bit late leaving this morning because it was really dark in the hut and I didn't want to get up. <laughs> as per usual and yeah but it looks like a lovely day and mix of forest and valley again today um, going over Harper's Pass which apparently is nothing exciting according to the Novos and yeah that's pretty much the plan um, tomorrow I'm gonna do a short walk and then go into Arthur's Pass village um, have the afternoon off, which I'm very excited for, and then um, slack pack the next day, the goat pass track, and then the next day will be really short as well, so super keen for that. Um, we'll see how far I get on the slack packing day as to how short it will be, but anyway, um, yeah, that's the plans for the next days. Oh, the mosquitoes and sandflies are relentless. Oh, anyway, onwards. So this is our bridge. It's just like a playground obstacle course with a 13 kilo backpack on. <laughs> Woohoo! We're just 
heading up over Harper's Pass, which as you can see is not very excitingly high. It's a nice stream to follow. And we join the stream again on the other side. Blue sky. Oh, blue sky, clouds. Pretty much the top. Yeah, it's a win. Made it to the top. Woohoo! Made it to Lucky Stream Hut for lunch. And I'm very sad that we're not staying here because it looks really, really nice. Oh well. Onwards. That first lunch, yay. We made it to the hut. And normally I film outside and don't interrupt everyone, but the sand flies are insane. I can't go outside. It's so hot, but I gotta cook my dinner. Oh, welcome to the South Island. Good morning, everybody. Just leaving. Just leaving Kiwi Hut, which was not the best hut, but it was okay. It was so hot last night, and my sandfly bites were so itchy. Anyway, walking to Morrison's footbridge and then getting out to Arthur's Pass Village today, which I'm very excited for. And then, yeah, oh, so good. But just got to walk along the river to get there first, so. Uh, 7.30, so hopefully we'll be there sort of around launch time. We'll see. Anyway, onwards. So this morning we've had river crossings up to my hips. We've had riverbed walking, gorse walking. Oh, it's a fun morning. I'm so glad we're going to Arthur's Pass today because I am just done. I need an afternoon off. Oh. Anyway, we got to walk along this river, then we turn left and go up another river. And then we'll be there. Oh, hopefully around lunchtime. Well, there's the footbridge and the car park. Made it out of the riverbank. Woohoo! That's pretty much, well, yep, done for the day. I am happy, it's not even lunchtime yet. Good morning, everyone. Check out the view. Oh, it's gonna be a great day. Slack packing day over Goats Pass. And then, met, well, hopefully on to Beely because we've reserved dinner there, so. They're not gonna be very happy if we don't make it. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see. It's gonna be a hard day, but it's starting out pretty good. And yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today. Oh, my Garmin is already annoying me. Oh, anyway, onwards. Check out this view, it's so cool. I mean, I hate rocks, but I put some music on so that the rocks get out of my head and I'm feeling a lot better. So yeah, it looks really cool. It's a really nice day. Hoping to get up the top before it gets too hot. Check out this cool waterfall. I didn't even notice it. We made it to Deception Hut which was supposed to take us eight hours and it took us three and a half. So pretty good day. And up until we stopped there for our first lunch, we were keeping up with some trail runners. Also makes it a good day. Um, but yeah, so we've got about another hour and a half to the top. And then the down is supposed to be easier. So we'll see how we go. Anyway, pushing on. Check out these ducks. I think they're blue ducks. Hello, duckies. We mostly made it. Well, technically the top is up there, but there's boardwalk, so what? And this hut is amazing. We're kind of sad we're not staying here. And we just climbed up a river. Woohoo! But we're feeling good today. It's a good day. Anyway, hopefully that's the conditions of the track going down. <laughs> Check out this cool waterfall. It's way better in real life, I promise you. Just come here, you'll see. So we're now road walking to Beerley for dinner and came across this super old sign which says Springfield 47 miles away. That's pretty cool. Anyway, road walking's kind of sucky, but not too far. We made it to Billy Hotel and had dinner and life is good. And now we're just going back to Arthur's Pass, so it was a very lovely, successful day. Anyway, on to really hot tomorrow so we'll be back no back here but only in the afternoon so mostly rest day yay